You can manage your book list by accessing the main menu and tapping on books. By default, when you create a new level book, the level book system that you're using will generate the book list for you. If you don't like this, you can always press the trash can button at the bottom there and just delete that entire list. The easiest way to add a book is to just press the plus button, type in the name, word count, and the book level, and you can continue adding books or you can just close that little dialog view. All right, now you can also edit these books and at any time by tapping on them on the list. And you'll see there's a place to put in uh, reading levels for uh, all the different level systems. Uh, you can also delete the book from here. So I'm just going to cancel out of that. Have a look down at the toolbar at the bottom of the screen. You can organize this list alphabetically by name or by reading level. You also have the option at any time to import the reading A to Z book list or the Fountas and Pinnell book list. And you can always export your custom list to share that with a colleague. Or if it's easier, you can email this CSV list to yourself and do all the data entry on a regular computer. So let's take a look at what that would look like. I'm going to send this to my email account. Let's go ahead and switch over to the laptop. Here's the email that I sent myself with the book list attachment. I'm going to double click on that to open it up. And here are all the fields. I can fill these in. And I'll put the word count in there. Let's pretend it was 86 and we'll put the reading level. And when I'm done adding books to that list, I can email that back to myself. So I will send it via email. And the important thing to remember here is it needs to be in CSV format. That stands for comma separated value. And that is the format that Levelbook um, understands. Okay, there's my email. I'm going to send that to my Von Bruno Apps account. Call this book list. So I know what it is. And I'll send it. All right, let's switch back to the iOS device. Now I have two level books here. So before I do the import, I'm going to go ahead and clear out uh, any books that I don't want on my book list. So I'll go into my second grade classroom, go to the books, and I'll press the trash button just to delete that, that list of books since I'm going to do a custom list of books here. Just double check in my first grade classroom. Um, I don't need that book since I'm going to import the whole thing. Okay, so now I'm going to exit out of level book and go straight to my email inbox and there's my book list. I'm going to tap on the attachment and I'm going to download that attachment and just pump it into level book. These are all the apps that know how to interpret a CSV file and so you want to pick level book and that will send the file into level book and now we can tell it which level books we would like to import that that list to. So I'm going to select both first and second grade since they're both going to be using the same book list and I will import and that list is now currently being imported into first grade and second grade so let's see if it's in there yet in first grade. We'll go to books and sure enough there it is two books. If I tap on that I can see all the details that go along with that book. If you have any trouble remembering all these details you can always press the help button right here and that'll give you a quick refresher on how to manage your book list.